Hey guys, Matt Pyle from Valley Imports here. Behind me today, I have the 2020 Mercedes-Benz AMG CLA 45. Um, this vehicle produces 382 horsepower out of just a four-cylinder turbocharged engine, which is kind of hard to believe. But even though this vehicle is known for being super fast, sporty, attractive, today I wanted to focus on something completely different. That's the interior of the vehicle, where it's still a Mercedes-Benz at heart. This vehicle is packed with new, updated technology, and it still has the luxury of every Mercedes-Benz. So let's go take a look. So for starters, first I'm going to introduce you to Mercedes-Benz User Experience, or MBUX for short. This is their interactive infotainment system that they just introduced this past year. Big thing about that is for the first time ever in Mercedes-Benz, we do have a touch screen. Now, I always kind of compare it to an iPad or an iPhone um, where it has almost apps in here. So if we want to listen to the radio, we simply press on the radio button. We can swipe through diff different stations and go from there. We can access all sorts of different data from here, from navigation, all over to different media, or one really cool thing is the AMG performance. Being that this is one of their performance variants, we can actually see like instantaneous hor horsepower output or torque. So if I, you know, put my foot to the pedal, you can see we're actually showing those in live time here. So not only can we use the touchscreen, but if I direct your attention down here to the center console, we have a touchpad. So just like a mouse pad on a laptop, we can swipe our finger left and right to interact with the screen up here. So if that feels more comfortable, you can do that. Not only do we have those, um, but we also on the steering wheel have here this little black box. So I always compare that one to kind of a Blackberry phone. So if we swipe our finger left and right, same idea as the mouse pad, we're gonna get the same result there. So those are three different ways that we can interact with the main screen here. Um, you're probably wondering about the digital screen behind the steering wheel here. So that can be interacted with as well. So. That one isn't a touchscreen because it'd be awfully awkward to kind of <laughs> go past the steering wheel here, but we do have that black box on the left hand side of the steering wheel over here. So again, we can customize our main screen here. So if we want to see different, uh, again, horsepower, torque outputs, or our different driving modes, a G-force meter, whatever we want. We can even go through different displays and designs. So right now we're on the Super Sport. If I went down to the classic mode and press that, you're going to see the whole theme change throughout the vehicle. So we're going to have more of a blue, you know, standard theme rather than just focused on the performance. Not only that, but also on the steering wheel um, are a couple more aspects where this little wheel down here, one of the performance variants where we can change the different drive modes, put it in Sport, Sport Plus change it into you know manual mode with just the power or just the paddle shifters and so on so as you can see not only is the vehicle packed with you know horsepower performance but it's still a luxury vehicle and it's got all the newest updated technology